Hello everybody again, this is uh, Rhonda Mars talking to you from the Rasmus Academy Recording Studios. And uh, we have as our guest today, um, Chad. Chad, you want to say hello? Hello, Ron. How are you? Great. How are you doing? So, um, all right. So this is the last uh, segment in a series on, the, on the, some of the notes on the biography and the background, historical background of, of the life of Johann Sebastian Bach. And you see here in the, in the picture, which you may have seen in the earlier segments, of the Thomaskirche um, in the historical period of, of his life. Um, and the Bach Archive, uh, which is the museum, is actually on this side. So this church is still uh, maintained, still uh, visible, and you can go in and they perform uh, cantatas there every Sunday. Uh, and also the Nikolai Church is the second most important one where he composed a lot of his works as well, which is also about a 10-minute ten, ten uh, walk away from this church in, in Leipzig, which is in the former East Germany, um, DDR, uh, and is now a thriving city. Okay, so we have uh, just a small section for the concluding segment here, which is, um, which we'll see here in a second. Um, Keep it so, short on Friday, good idea. <laughs> that's right, right, on Friday. Uh, just one second here. Okay, so here we are, um, and um, this is the uh, last section. We're just going to cover from here down to this point. Can you see my marks there, um, Chad? Yes. Okay, let's, let's read some, and as, as I read, uh, Chad will repeat after me, please read with him, and then I'll ask him questions and try to imagine in your mind uh, what the uh, answers are. Here we go. Das Leipziger Wohnhaus der Familie Bach, everybody? Das Leipziger Wohnhaus der Familie Bach ist nicht erhalten. Ist nicht erhalten. Where's the verb? It would be ist. Yeah, ist, and then uh, actually erhalten is a predicate adjective which actually completes the verb complex, so we'll include that in that. In that. Okay. Is maintained, is not maintained, literally. So um, obviously this is a, an adjective. N note that uh, whatever gender this is, uh, when you have an adjective which is a proper noun, the endings is, is always ER. So the, Le the Leipzig uh, house or the, um, the Leipzig home of the Bach family, actually. And, and I say it is not maintained, but you could say, um, uh, has not survived. Okay, uh, just one second here. Um, okay, so um, so uh, let's go on. Uh, die Familie lebte in der Thomaskirche. Sorry, die Familie lebte in der Thomasschule. Everybody. Die Familie lebte in der Thomasschule. Die bis zu ihrem Abriss 1902 die bis zu ihrem Abriss 1902 direkt gegenüberstand. Direkt gegenüberstand. Okay, so up to the comma, where's the verb? Lebte. Good, so it lived, and the subject is obviously die Familie. Good, uh, in, and this is a, a dative in the Thomas Schule. This is a feminine noun. Um, what does a D refer back to? The beginning of the relative clause with, begins with a, a relative pronoun. Go back again to die Familie. Well, um, or I suppose it could go Thomas Schule. That's right. Yes, the Thomas Schule, yes. the, the Thomas School, which, and then where's the verb? Uh, stand. Mm -hmm. And stand it. So which stood uh, up up to its when it was taken down, bis zu ihrem Abriss in 1902, it stood directly over against or uh, over. Um, uh, um, on the on the opposite side of the uh, actually the um, the archive museum is what it means. Okay, uh, you want to do that that first two sentences just uh, together slowly. Sure. Uh, the Leipzig home of the Bach family has not survived. Mm -hmm. uh, the family lived in the Tom Thomas Schule, uh, which stood directly opposite. I guess from the museum um, until it was taken down mm -hmm. in 1902, or until it's take down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, going on. Im heutigen Bach Museum wohnte damals die Kaufmannsfamilie Bosa. Im heutigen Bach Museum wohnte damals die Kaufmannsfamilie Bosa. Okay, where's the verb? Uh, it's wohnte. Mm -hmm, good. And subject is? Um, 
die Kaufmanns Familie. Exactly. Yeah. Good. And uh, Kaufmann means to sell. Kaufmann is a salesman. So Kaufmann's family is the the, the salesman family Bosa. Okay. Um, so they lived in in the present day Bach Museum uh, at that time, etc. Going on. Zwischen den benachbarten Familien. Go ahead. Zwischen uh, den benachbarten Familien entwickelten sich freundschaftliche Bande. Entwickelten sich freundschaftliche Bande. So, where is the verb there? Uh, it's entwickelten, but also the sich. Good. Always include the reflexive pronoun in identifying the, the uh, verb complex. So that, that means... Well, they develop themselves, but I mm -hmm. don't think you necessarily need the reflexive sense for English. Good. Always translate it literally with the reflexive first, and then if it doesn't, if it if you find it unnecessary for the idiomatic English understanding of the sentence, then you can uh, just omit it. So, um, and the subject is. Um, it's banda. Good. So these ties, these fr friendly ties. So notice that when you start the sentence with a preposition, then you can't find any parts of the of the core sentence there. So between the neighboring families. Just translate the last part. Uh, between the neighboring families, uh, I guess you could say friendly ties developed. Exactly. Good. All right. Well, thanks so much for tuning in for our series on, on uh, Johann Sebastian Bach. And uh, uh, thank you, Chad, for, for helping out so much. And, and um, you really um, helped in, in understanding how to put these sentences together. So thanks My for pleasure. tuning in. <laughs> yeah. uh, thanks for tuning in and talk to you later. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.